Last week, I invited all of you on my new journey in jiu-jitsu in an attempt to further my education and try a completely different martial art. For those of you searching for an art, you know that the options are endless. Karate, Kung Fu, Taekwondo, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, etc. Even more daunting than this list is the realization that each one of those can be broken down further into subcategories and different versions of the parent art. As part of this video series, we're going to be taking some looks at different arts. And since I'm in the process of learning brand new history, it seemed appropriate to start this video off with exploring the different types of Jiu Jitsu. So, we understand that there are different types of martial arts, and each one of those can be broken down into further subclasses. Now, if we want to complicate this even further, we can take into account that some styles are derivatives of others. For example, Aikido was derived from traditional Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was also from Judo, which is also from Jiu Jitsu. Wing Chun was descended from White Crane and other Kung Fu styles. You can trace a lot of arts backwards and find that they had a parent art, or many times a mixture of ancestral influences. So how do you choose which version to pick and which one to go with? Simply by understanding the differences between them. Today we'll be talking with Sheehan Bill Wood and explore the different types of Jiu Jitsu. My name is uh, Sheehan Bill Wood. I've, st I've studied many different styles, especially when I was younger. First, when I was a kid, I was exposed to boxing. Then I was exposed to Shotokan Karate. Then I was exposed to judo, and the judo was something that I uh, took a great affinity to for many years, judo and wrestling. And then later on in my teenage years, I discovered that there were other techniques that were not part of judo because judo is basically a sport and had jujitsu aspects eliminated from it so that it could be a more competitive style. That's when I discovered jiu-jitsu and I fell in love with jiu-jitsu and I've been with jiu-jitsu ever since. And that includes Brazilian jiu-jitsu, Japanese jiu-jitsu, all types of jiu-jitsu, I love it all. I teach exclusively a system called Sanyamabushi Ru Jiu-Jitsu, which is a system that came from uh, Mount Vernon from our Shinan, the founder, Hector Negron. Jiu-jitsu originated from Japan, but different styles of jiu-jitsu have their own origins. For example, Brazilian jiu-jitsu um, originated in Brazil, of course, but their influence was a Japanese person that came over there and taught them certain fighting skills, and, and the people that were taught these skills utilized the techniques that they were taught and modified them for the environment that they live in and that they were brought up in. So thus, the birth of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You know, you have other styles of Jiu-Jitsu that came about in the same way. Jiu-Jitsu differs from uh, other arts such as Karate and many other styles, Taekwondo, in uh, basically the first difference is in the country of origin that these arts are from, for example, uh, Taekwondo, Hapkido were basically Korean martial arts, uh, Jiu Jitsu, Aikido, Judo were Japanese arts, and then you have uh, Karate that is basically from Okinawa and that has Chinese origins as well as Japanese origins. There are many styles of Jiu Jitsu out there and they're ever evolving. Even Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is beginning to evolve into other uh, subsets of uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but some of the other Jiu Jitsu styles that I've seen out there, well, for example, I myself uh, am a disciple of uh, Miyamaru Jiu Jitsu, which was started by a uh, gentleman, Shinan Antonio Pereira from uh, Tremont in the Bronx. And then there's uh, another style out there that's a, a Hawaiian born jiu-jitsu system called Danzenru jiu-jitsu and that's a very big uh, system that has a huge following in uh, on the west coast of the United States as well as in uh, the Hawaiian Islands um, and then you've got uh, a sect of jiu-jitsu in Europe that's uh, very popular Goshenru uh, jiu-jitsu system which is mostly out of Great Wales and then you've got the 
Hakotu Ryu Jiu Jitsu system that is uh, basically out of Europe in general. So uh, those are some of the larger organizations that I, uh, that I know just off the top of my head. Here are some additional variations of Jiu Jitsu to highlight how the art can exist in many different flavors. In the color spectrum, there are seven bands of visible light. The eighth band is invisible ultraviolet light. The philosophy of Hakoryu is similar to ultraviolet in that it is subtle in nature but with a powerful effect. Just like a sunburn, the person does not realize the damage until after it is applied. Atemi Jiu Jitsu was established as a way to preserve a more traditional style of the arts, and it was inspired by systems that were developed for samurai as a way to defend against armed and armored opponents in battle. The term Atemi was added to the name to reinforce the application of strikes in self-defense. Both Kitoryu and Tenjin Shinyoryu have an important place in history. Both arts are composed of strikes, throws, chokes, and joint locks. Kitoryu was designed to be performed in armor, while Tenjin Shinyoryu was developed after the Civil War in Japan and thus incorporated faster strikes without the armor. However, both arts are considered to have been the inspiration for Kano Jigaro and his foundation for the modern system of Judo. Jiu-Jitsu is the parent art to Aikido and Judo, but the main difference between Aikido and Jiu-Jitsu is practitioners of Aikido are complementary to one another. There's a harmonious, uh, it's, it's called the harmonious way, and it is an art that is very fluidic and it utilizes the opposite person's energy to be used against them. Whereas jujitsu doesn't always utilize the opposite person's energy. Sometimes they meet force with force. And that's the main difference between the two. Safety aspects in jujitsu can never be uh, underrated or underestimated. Um, first and foremost, it would be the supervision of the instructor of its students to make sure that nothing unsafe is occurring or is even about to occur. Part of that is, you know, the, uh, the wearing of, um, of protective padding and the other huge part of it is you know, the mat and the flooring. And being that in our style of jiu-jitsu, I have many throws, uh, um, many locks, takedowns uh, are part of our art and part of almost all jiu-jitsu arts. I have a uh, nice gymnastic spring floor um, that I built on my own, designed it on my own. I bought these uh, four-inch gymnastics uh, spring coils that uh, me and a couple other students, we had a production line that we um, bought you know, a bunch of four by eight uh, sheets of wood and we, I made a template where we put in all the drill holes and we installed all of the springs ourselves. We put down the floor and then looking at it, I said, you know what, I'm gonna need a way to tie these all together so that it's a single piece of, of solid structure that's floating. So I said, no, let me get another layer of wood and I cross, I crossed over the top so that every single four by eight underneath were interlinked and put them together, put my judo mats down. I said, you know what? I don't like the spaces between the mats that can occur whereby toes can be broken, fingers can be broken if they catch between. So then I said, let me get a nice single piece of vinyl to put over that. And then I said, let me make sure that vinyl's got Velcro on the edges and that's the way I keep uh, the mats together and keep all of us safe. Try out as many different schools as possible to make sure that you like the people you train with, the instructor that is teaching whatever the art is at the school. And those are the first, first and foremost, the main things. Like the instructor, know that you're not gonna be abused, that you're gonna learn exactly what you wanna learn. And in that basically is knowing yourself and knowing what you want to get out of whatever martial art you're taking. I'd like to give a great big thank you to Sheehan Wood for welcoming us into his school and taking the time to give us a more intimate look at the different types of jujitsu. Thank you for watching. I'd love to hear from anyone who has practiced jujitsu to share your experience with us. Please subscribe to our channel and share these videos and let us know below about any other art that you would like us to explore in this series.